Welcome, you probably heard about Xiaomi releasing a new phone in cooperation with Leica and this new Leica camera app I have now here on my Xiaomi 11T because it is available now. So I think it is a good thing and worthwhile to look at the new Leica camera app on the Xiaomi 11T. So let's get started. So what I'm talking about is really the Leica camera app or the camera app from the Xiaomi 12S Pro and the 12S and the 12S Ultra has been leaked out and it can be installed on other devices as well to get all the cool new Leica filters just like I'm using here right now on my Xiaomi 11T. That has just a little problem because whenever you choose it in video mode at least you will only get 1080p 30 frames per second is exactly what you see here but you get the cool Leica colors here in this case I'm using Leica natural you have also Leica vivid and you have Leica monochrome as well available and gladly you don't have this kind of limit for the photos so let's take a look at some of the photos that I took with the new Leica natural photos here some low light photo uh, taken with the Leica look or the Leica natural look and you can see directly that in this low light situation we have a little bit overblown highlights but we have very accurate colors here which yeah tend to be also on all the other pictures that you can see so here I'm just reminding you how this will work and how this will look like on the Xiaomi 11T so this is a good camera system that you have here orange red everything looks pretty natural and good and also the macro cam has a nice capability and autofocus which is pretty awesome and you don't get this so much in the newer versions of Xiaomi mid-range phones here you can also see that the green tones look pretty nice you get nice background blur and nice HDR here as well as you can see a nice and sharp close-up shots shots of flowers look pretty awesome also the ultra wide angle looks pretty awesome this is now also taken with the um, natural mode like a natural mode and as you can see you have wonderful exposure wonderful sky look wonderful green grass wonderful everything looks pretty pretty wonderful here with this look and also the zoom lens can use of course the Leica look this is two times zoom here nice background blur as well and uh, this also pretty nice shot with the main camera you can see here the flower nice and sharp everything nice and natural even the sky if it's a little bit overexposed here it has a pretty nice look indeed and here as well a bit dark here i would say for my taste but it's doing a good job and as you can see you get pretty good shots out of this camera sensor even with the mid-range device and the colors look pretty natural even here uh, shooting up the tree you can see pretty good and awesome and I could also get some macro shots here of this little what is it bee I think it is or a wasp or I, uh, some kind of insect here that's trying to get some of the pollen of the uh, of the uh, pollen of the flower and here we have a comparison between the Leica look which you can see here right now and now for a second like let's see what what changes Here's the default look of the Xiaomi and you can see how the greens are much more punchy but you can also see how it's overdone. So you can see here is a contrast between this green here where the sun is shining in the background on this tree and the green grass in the foreground here and if I go to the next photo it's almost gone. This contrast is gone because this green is so close to this green and you can see it even more here in this electric scooters and the green of here can see if you look look closely there's a different green slightly different green between this little box here in front and uh, the back here but if you go back to the Leica look you can see how much different it is and this Leica look is more accurate to yeah what I saw with my own eyes because they have this different kind of uh, greenish color which you don't see here so much because it's boosting everything up it's contrasting everything up you can see it here in the pavement everything becomes more yellow the red becomes more pronounced uh, yeah this is the standard Xiaomi look that we know from a few years ago and really I don't like it but this new Leica natural look is so good that I would say 
This is something that you should immediately in your camera setting, if you download the camera, set as the default one because you always get much, much better pictures out of it. Not only with the Xiaomi 11T, also with the Redmi Note 10 Pro and every other Xiaomi device practically because it has this better look. Let's go to this one. And now this one and this one, you see the difference? This one is the one with the normal Xiaomi look and this one is the one with the Leica natural look. You can see the sky is not changing much, but there's like a little bit less of this punch of this blue and all the other colors. Just look at down here how yellow this looks like. And if I go to the Leica one, it's getting more green. So this punchy yellow is gone and also the greens here much, much more greener than here where it's much more settled down. And I guess here, when I go in here, this orange house and the red houses here will probably look less orangey and less red as well. So it's less punchy, this color, more natural, this color. And I like it very, very much. This is the right tweaking uh, that I really like. And here you can see it also in close-up shots with the main cam and the Xiaomi one. The Xiaomi pops more because it has like everything punched. Just look at the sky color, look at the greens there in the background and just look at here. It's a difference. Also a difference slightly in this like of uh, pinkish color. You can see that it's getting more towards red here instead of like this more pinkish kind of color as you can see here. That's but more, much more saturated. And yeah, also you can see it here in the cars as well, the red are much more saturated and much more shiny uh, than, yeah, without. So I really like this Leica color and this Leica color really adds more realistic colors. So it's really called Leica natural for a reason because it adds much more natural colors. And I think the same goes also for uh, Leica black and white, much more interesting monochrome like shots that you can get. I don't have an example here right now, but just believe me, it is really, really good. And it's really a step forward for a photography on a Xiaomi smartphone for every Xiaomi smartphone that has the ability to run this app and use this Leica filters. So this is now Leica Vivid with the ultra wide angle because you can use the color filters of course with all the cameras. Only 1080p 30 frames per second but that's a limitation of the 11T as well. So what you want to take a look at right now is the differences in the camera app itself because they have some design tweaks and changes here and there. When it comes to features it's almost the same so nothing has changed so the feature set of your 11T or Redmi Note 10 Pro or other devices that are supported probably won't change so much. The only addition that you get to those kind of cameras is the new color filter. So here we have two devices on the left the Xiaomi 11T and on the right my trusty Redmi Note 10 Pro and let's take a look at the camera applications as you see first of all the camera application with the Leica branding is starting a lot quicker and maybe it's a process as well but it's starting a lot quicker. When you take a look at the various different icons, you can see that the zoom slider looks different already. We have like uh, numbers here, 0 0.6 and two times instead of just points that we have here, where you can click to see the number itself. And as you can see here, yeah, it's exactly the same. We have a different font as well, which reminds me a little bit of the Leica font that Leica also uses in their smartphone, in their smartphones, in their cameras. And you can see it here as well that there's a different kind of style where we have like here the carousel uh, pointing towards one category by color and here pointing with a red dot which is also reminiscent of the Leica branding and the way Leica does with, with its uh, digital cameras. And of course the, the, you can see that the, the font is a different that you see. Then the AI button you can see also is shiny red instead, like a red instead of yellow. And uh, yeah, we have the night mode here. I think the night mode is hiding somewhere else, is it? It's not even here. And probably under more. Uh, there we have the night mode, yeah. Here we have the night mode as a dedicated one. And as you can see here, also slightly bit different, smaller icons, different font, and uh, no circle around the icons. Here we have like just the icons and a big fat edit button that is a circle here and uh, yeah we have a different button for settings here as you can see here different design where here we use uh, oh, this button this button the edit button probably yes customizing button um, for various different things otherwise when we go into the photo mode and let's go into the photo mode here as well first of all switching is also faster on the new app 
everything else on the top looks the same. So we have also the same menu, but you can see that the animation stays the same, but the way it looks is a bit more squared off. As you can see, here's more round, here's more squared off. Here it uses like the Leica red as an indicator for what is activated and not, and here it's using yellow as an indicator. And we have, yeah, these options here, as you can see here when I switch from one to another, you can clearly see that it's very reminiscent of, uh, yeah, uh, the same UI but different styling in this case and yeah we have the movie frame option we have the settings basically the same settings that you had also before but it just looks a little bit more clean and I think it's a bit more readable and more Leica like on the device but the main difference now is not the menus and not all those little yeah nitpicks here it's this button here in photo mode where we have this button here on the top on the old photo where we can choose between various different profiles. As you can see here, we have Vivid, we have Gold Vibes, Gomit, Film, and so on. Lots and lots of uh, various different uh, filters here uh, with a preview. Here, this button is now on the bottom. And when I click on this one, we have the normal one, but we have also like a Vivid and we have like a Natural, as well as like a Black and White Natural and like a Black and White HC, whatever this means. And this is basically everything. The rest is like the whole thing that we saw already here as well. So the same kind of filter. So the only thing that you will notice when using a Xiaomi 11T, for example, or Redmi Note 10 Pro, because you can also install it on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, and I think it should also work here, is that you get this filters like a natural and like a black and white natural HC and like a, a VIF stands for vivid as well and you can also not only choose them via the photo but also in video mode but just like on the old version you can see again the button went from here to there when you choose here you can see it's a different kind of menu it says beautify and bokeh so where are the filters then this is a bit yeah, confusing because if i click on here we have also beautify and we have another button here that uh you can turn it off as well we have another button that is using this icon here and this is the same as here and we have the option now to see here then the movie filters and here you can see we have also like a vivid we have like a natural uh, like a black and white natural and so on but if you go into like a natural for example what it does in video mode let's go in here and choose you can see it is limiting it to 1080p 30 frames per second so if i go into the normal mode then I can choose 4K 30 here or 1080p 60, which is like a bit of a downer, but it's the same here on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. As you can see, as soon as you choose a, a color filter, it's swapping and you don't have the possibility to choose 4K 30 or 1080p 60. So this is a little bit of a bummer and limitation, but yeah, that's basically it. And these are the biggest changes in the camera application. So you get this new filters and slightly more Leica-like look on the Xiaomi um, camera application. So overall, what do you think about the new color filters of uh, the Xiaomi camera application, the new Leica filters and the new design of the camera application? You think it's something that should come to all the Xiaomi devices and technically it's working on almost all the devices, all the devices that I tested at least. What do you think? Write it down in the comments. That's everything for the short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.